Hey everyone, it's Romy, and today I'm actually showing you how I take my food photos. Something that has been requested after I showed you my home studio. So if you've not seen my home studio video, um, yeah, you maybe might want to watch that because you can see like how I actually set up. I'm not going to go too much about the setup today, but I'm just showing you how I actually decorate and how I style the food and then how I'm taking my photos. So yeah, let's go over into my tiny home studio. Today's video is actually sponsored by Skillshare. And as you might know, I originally come from a portrait photography background and everything that I know in food photography has all been completely self-taught. And this is where Skillshare has already come in for me multiple times because they've got multiple amazing courses on food photography, on editing. I've even taken some on video editing and social media marketing. They have amazing courses on there and I can only recommend it. There's a link in the description for you guys and you can get two months off with that link, your first two months. Um, and yeah, I really hope you enjoy the courses on Skillshare, but now let's get on with the video. Today I'm photographing a tofu salad. So I've actually got a salad with some crispy fried garlic tofu that goes on the top and I'm going to be photographing that and I'll take you along. Let's switch on this other camera down there and then we can get going. Today I've picked a dark backdrop actually. Um, I kind of I kind of just felt that the colours of the salad will come out like pretty nicely on the dark backdrop. Um, I've placed my bowl first just so that I kind of know where I'm going to be setting up. I know exactly how far away my camera needs to be. And um, yeah, I start with like everything one after another. Like I don't just um, style the food and then chuck it in front of the camera. I literally just start with one thing after another and um, I put the bowl out first just so that I know where the bowl's going to be. Is it going to be in the middle? Is it going to be on the side? Am I going to be seeing all of it or not? Um, today I've kind of gone for a basic, yes the entire bowl is going to be visible. It's in the bottom half of my image and yeah. So I've got some rocket salad that is going to go into that bowl and I kind of need to decide obviously where to place everything. Now I've got a little cutting board next to me with all of the ingredients that are going to go into my salad. I've got some cherry tomatoes, I've got some cut cucumber, I've got the salad dressing ready here, I've got the fried tofu and I've got half an avocado that I'm going to add into the salad. On this occasion, I mean all of them, when you have a salad you usually have everything layered like in the same space. Whereas if I was photographing, I don't know, a teriyaki maybe or something like this where I have the white rice and then like the teriyaki sauce in different colours, I would probably um, decide yeah, how I want to place things a little bit more. What I often do is, um, I mean I've got my light set up over here and you can tell that I've got like a darker edge over here because of the placement of the light. So what I often do is that I place some lighter colored objects into that darker corner just to kind of lighten up that corner so that it doesn't get like completely dark. So um, yeah, maybe just avoid putting the darkest items into that corner. Let's get going. I'm just gonna add a little bit of salad. I'm just gonna pretty much fill the bowl just as a base the salad just try and fluff it up a little bit just so it also looks a little bit fresher on the image and I don't have it doesn't look so like scrunched in and so packed so I think that's pretty much enough I'm going to leave a little bit of salad left over just so that I can use it for the decoration around the bowl have a look on the camera what that looks like. Sometimes need to like you know twist around or like take off some of these ends of the rocket salad just because they sometimes look a little bit funny on pictures. I'm just gonna take this off a little bit. Um then we're gonna the cucumber next. Sprinkling some of that everywhere. I'm just putting a little bit of that everywhere now and then I'm going to check what it looks like on camera whether there's maybe some corners that look as if they don't have any cucumber on them. Maybe I'll put a little bit more over 
here. Sometimes, obviously, that on the camera it looks different from what it looks like to my eye. So sometimes the camera can't see like certain pieces that I can clearly see with my eye. So I always double check with what I have on the lens. I think that's looking all right. Don't want to overfill it with cucumber as well. Otherwise, all you see is cucumber. <laughs> I'm adding some tomatoes in. Now, just very carefully place these around. And very similar like I did with the cucumber. I'm just going to place a few and then I'm gonna check back on the camera. With any larger items that really like go into your eye when you look at the picture, such as these red tomatoes, um, what I like to do is I like to place an uneven amount of them in a picture. And what our brain tends to do when we see like um, some very significant items in a picture, our brain is trying to pair them together or to kind of, you know, place them together. So. If I place items in there in twos, the brain might automatically try to look for any symmetries, which is a bit weird. I mean, at least my brain, I know my brain does that. And whenever I just have like an even number of items in a picture, it just looks a little bit odd. So I'm gonna go with an uneven number here. Tomatoes, I think that actually looks quite all right. Maybe I'll move this one a little bit further over. Just do some over here as well. I still want it to look, you know, kind of natural, just so it doesn't look like too staged with the placement of them. I think that's looking all right. Um, what are we going to go for next? I'm going to put, I think I'm going to put the tofu in. Now, this is um, crispy fried garlic tofu. This was hot earlier. It's cooled down now, so I can just easily pick some of it up. And I'm just gonna divide it around the plate as well, maybe making sure that I've got some of the prettier pieces like in focus. So maybe add one of these like really crispy golden looking pieces like right here. So I'm kind of aiming that the main focus of the image is supposed to be like in this bottom half of the bowl. More. This one here doesn't actually get much light, it's very dark. I've got some bigger pieces here of the tofu as well, but I'm just going to go with the slightly smaller ones because I feel the bigger ones will be looking a little bit too much. Look, and this tomato has gone a bit dark here. So add another piece in there. Okay, there we go. I'm going to prop up this tomato a little bit further just so it doesn't get so dark over there. Okay, so I think we've got that down. Um, I've got my avocado here and now I'm just going to actually have not pre-sliced this because I wanted to decide um, how I wanted to cut it and what it was supposed to look like. So I think what I'm going to do, instead of having avocado pieces, I might just um, cut it into slices and just nicely place that avocado half on this bit over here. Okay, now I can place this over there. It's maybe not the prettiest shaped avocado, but I hope it'll be looking all right in the pictures. So here we go, and we have a camera. Yeah, that's actually looking all right. Okay, now I think we've got the base for our salad bowl. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start decorating around it. Once I've got the decoration around it, I might, you know, do some fine little touches to the salad bowl. What I usually do is I take some safe shots. Like I don't, I don't directly drizzle like all of the dressing over the top, for example, just in case, I don't know, I drizzle it weird and it just doesn't look nice anymore. Cause I can't really undo that unless I wanna, you know, start with new ingredients. So, I'm just going to start with the decoration around it. The tomato for you there, yeah. Start with the decoration around it, and then I'm just going to go into yeah, the details on the salad afterwards. I usually kind of place some ingredients and some props that I might want to use around my set, just so that I have them to hand very easily, or I can easily swap something out. I don't like to set up my set up front. I like to see what it looks like once the food is there, or how much, just kind of get an idea whether it takes any attention away from the food itself. So yeah, I've got a couple of items over here. I even put a cutting board over there, yeah, just in case I want to, um, yeah, maybe put a cutting board in the background or something like this. I think I'm going to start with a cloth. That's usually what I start with. And sometimes on this darker backdrop when the light is like 
depends on the angle of the light. If it gets a little bit reflective, I like to put a dark cloth over there just to kind of cover up that reflection. With this one, maybe, I don't want to put it on this side, maybe. Oh, that's, that's actually not too bad. I might actually leave it there. Sometimes I have to faff around with that for ages until I can um, find a good placement for it. Because, um, yeah, sometimes it just looks very unnatural when you're trying to place stuff down. But I'm actually liking the look of this. I'm just going to leave it there for now and then I'll decide later if I want to change anything about it. I'm going to do, I've got this little dish here, it's wide. So I could be standing up too much. It might be a little. How about I add some tomatoes to that? Let me just get some scissors. When I um, decorate the tomatoes, I always like to cut them off the stems with scissors just so that they have everything nicely, like still has its bends on them. It looks a little bit prettier in photos rather than just having like, you know, kind of empty tomatoes lying around there. I'm just gonna cut some off here as well. So I can kind of use them and place them around throughout my salad. I think that's really in the dark here. So I think in this picture, the um, red from the tomatoes is really gonna stand out. So it's just kind of nice to have that replicated in the decoration as well. I'm gonna be cutting in next. I can put the cutting board I can put in. I've got a couple of dishes in where I can put in. some little, I don't know, salty pepper or some. I'm actually planning to put some sesame seeds on the top after. I always like the look of those on, on um, avocado. I've got some black ones actually. Let me just fill those into this little dish. So I'm always trying to, you know, use items in the decoration that are already replicated in the actual dish so it kind of looks a little bit more realistic. It's like, you know, like a cooking scene, like we're still having the ingredients lying around and stuff like this. Have a look what that would even look like in the picture. It is quite dominant right now. Uh, I might revisit that in a moment. I've got half an avocado here. I've taken the half with the stone just to place it in the background. So I've taken the half without the stone for the actual picture. And I might actually get some blue tech for that avocado. Blue tech is honestly my savior when it comes to food photography. It's just so good to use if you just need to prop something up a little bit or make it stay in a certain way. I obviously want to be able to see the avocado shape nicely in the background. I might place one of those ones in the background, kind of like as if it's got oil in it. Let me move this board over a little bit. Avocado, it's not a good one. Move the board over a little bit and just place knives on there. Then maybe place a couple of pieces on one side. Maybe even cucumber. Let me just take it out of the Sainsbury's plastic wrap. Okay, just kind of have that corner of that cucumber in there. And then I'm just going to put some more tomatoes over here, kind of like as if I've just, just been cutting them. Again, five, not four. Well, that's a little bit of cutting. Let me just put one over there. The nice are parallel. I kind of feel I still need something on this side over here. It's kind of like as if there's something missing. What I might, however, do, I still have a pan over here from the tofu. So I might just have that, you know, peek into the corner over there. Maybe not so much. I'm just figuring out how to best place it. I think that might be all right. Just moving the tofu pieces right into that corner so you can actually see kind of what's in the pan. But I have this other little dish here. I was kind of thinking of using that for the salad dressing, or now I'm kind of wondering whether that's a little bit too big. Maybe I can try and do a pouring shot of the salad dressing later. So I think if I just stand this down here, it just kind of looks, well, it actually doesn't look that massive, but I still find it a little bit too big. So yeah, I think next what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna decorate all the little pan touches on yeah, here we go. So I think what I'm gonna start with, I'm just gonna add a couple of sesame seeds to my avocado. I'm just gonna mix them with some brighter ones and some darker ones. And I might actually just sprinkle some over the top. It doesn't need to be perfect just on the avocado. It looks a little bit more natural when they're like scattered around the area of the avocado as well. We're going with some dark ones. 
And then just to make the background look a little less flat, I'm just going to sprinkle a couple around in like the areas of the backdrop that I can see. We can just make it this. <laughs> the favorite part of it all. Okay. Just kind of makes it look a little bit more realistic rather than as if the backdrop is just all clean. So now I'm kind of thinking, okay, maybe I want the cloth to kind of go this way down here rather than being like on the total length of it all. Maybe I want to then let something peek in a little bit from that corner. I don't really know what, what it could be yet, but um, I'll figure something out. I mean, I, I need to bear in mind as well that on the camera now I see everything in kind of 16 to 9, but in the picture afterwards that I'm going to take, it's more going to be like, you know, like a 4 by 5 so I'll probably not quite be seeing like the top and the bottom bit so I don't have to focus like all too much down here. Like I don't want to be showing like this entire cloth later anyways so it'll be like cut off a little bit so maybe I don't have to worry about this corner down here too much. What I'm pretty going to go and get is my reflector though just so that I can um, bounce back a little bit of light onto this very dark corner because right now it's just looking like proper proper black. So I'll get my reflector and I'll place it here just to kind of bounce back a bit of light. Let me have a look what that looks like. I don't want it to be like a full on, you know, like reflection like that. I think that's a bit too much. I still kind of want to keep the moody vibe of it. This is with, this is without. So I think it just gives it like a little bit of lightness down there in the corner so it doesn't look like completely black. I think I'm going to use some pepper next. I like, um, and when I say very dishes, I like to just sprinkle some pepper over the top of the dish. It just kind of makes it look a little bit more seasoned. It doesn't need to be a massive amount, but I usually just go and put some pepper on the top and around the dish as well. It's a little bit more seasoned and natural, even without the dressing on it. Sometimes, depending on what I'm photographing, I'll even use like some peppercorns and just place them around the decoration. I'm going to do the same with like a little bit of salt, especially on the tomatoes, just so they look, they look nice and seasoned. You know, something here a little bit, uh, like that. <laughs> yeah, I think that's looking quite nice. Put that aside again. I put some parsley on the side just to put, you know, some green seasoning on the top as well, rather than just salt and pepper. I don't think that made a massive difference, <laughs> but okay. Um, I think it's time to take some photos now. Okay, so there we've got the first round off the just. What I'm gonna do next, so I basically, I've kind of taken some safe shots. So, you know, anything that happens from here, I at least have these kind of photos of it and they look fine and they look all right. Um, but now I can get a little bit more experimental and actually see what else I might want to do with this picture. As I was saying earlier, I was thinking of actually um, drizzling some of the dressing on the top. So I've got this little duck over here and I might actually fill my dressing in there and then drizzle some over the top. So, just mix this here with a fork, so I'm just gonna go in and drizzle a little bit of this over the salad. I'm attempting to only hit the salad and not everything else around it. So now I'm just gonna see where I'm gonna place that all first. So what I need to bear in mind, I'm using like a 45 degree angle over here. And with this 45 degree angle, if I place if I want this bit to be sharp here, for example, and I place this over the top, then this is not necessarily going to be sharp. So one thing I'm going to need to adjust is probably my, my aperture, just so that I've got like a wider area sharp. I want it to be higher. Also, I don't know. And I think too high up is not good enough. So I think something like this would be nice. And then maybe have it go down on it front piece of the avocado and that little chunk of piece over here. So I'll basically hold it in this area and then just pull and do like a couple of pictures at once. I kind of need to make sure to not pour it too slowly because otherwise it goes like in like a weird curve underneath. So I'm just going to try and do that again. Three, two, one. So now we've got a little board bowl over here. Um, you may have a look at this, like any corners where I would want to add a little bit more dressing. I think they didn't get too much. Yeah, that's good. Let's 
months maybe trying to put this junk into the picture somewhere. Mm -hmm. I kind of like that you can see this pool at the front. Yeah, there's somewhere, but you So yeah, I think this is kind of like a wrap now. Um, I just need to take some Instagram stories <laughs> of this all. Pretty much done now. Now the next step is just going to be editing and that will actually be next week's video. So come back for that. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you've really enjoyed this little behind the scenes for my photo shoot. And yeah, anyways, if you want to see more of these kind of videos, just, just let me know because um, I'm happy to show you. <laughs> Have a nice day. Bye bye.